Good evening and welcome to Collector Cars. I'm Lance, your host. Oh, I can start now? <laughs> I've got you to take good, over. good evening and welcome to Collector Cars TV. <laughs> I'm Bill, your host. Okay, now we can start. <laughs> I've got a cold. I have taken a lot of NyQuil <clears throat> just to be here tonight. So I cannot be held responsible for anything that I say tonight. Have you ever? Which is, well, yeah, I mean, oh. it's no different than any other night. This is true. With us tonight in the studio, Mr. Sam Harris. Lance. How you How doing, you? man? Doing great, man. Good and Mr. Bill Mergens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, it's, well, I mean, you know, Sam's a pilot, so I'm here with a guy that flies high, and I'm just... The other guy's just high. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought you were talking about him flying. No, well, you oh, fly okay. high, and he's just high. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. You know, and I was bragging. I was running around the last this past week bragging about how I haven't had a cold in three years, and wham, it landed That's right on my face. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> we've got some things to discuss. What we're going to do tonight, folks? We're going to do a little short video on the Kiwana show, some pictures and stuff, uh, Bill Eikhoff's cars and things from last year's show yep. to kind of give them an idea of the scope of what you do and so forth. Uh, it was a last minute request on Bill Mergens to go into his archives to True. dig up pictures, but uh, I'm only doing a short video tonight because I think it's important that we talk about some of the things that have just tra transpired. Now, mm -hmm. as usual, you know I never make a mistake. <laughs> of course not. I was telling folks at Super Cruise that there was a problem with the location of the mm -hmm. Kiwanis show and that the city of Punta Gorda would not issue a permit. No. So, and that was incorrect. It has nothing to do with the city of Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. Okay. You now, sir, are going through the kind of baloney <laughs> that I have gone through for 11 years. I don't know what the requirements are to work for a county zoning department in those places, but my goodness, they just, they, it's, it's the hurdles and the, the I mean, you've got to jump through hoops and, I mean, it's just amazing. And you're, you're doing a 100% charity yep. for kids, okay? I mean, that should, that should be the priority, not how a piece of property is zoned or whatever. But anyway, bottom line, you had a heck of a day. Yeah, last I week. it was Friday. <clears throat> yeah, last week was really a lot of fun. And you and called me on my cell phone and you didn't just answer. as you were on the way to the bar. And you didn't answer. And was I don't mean the, bar? the yeah. legal bar. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, it was the day was over with when I finally got to that. Right. Yes. So, so we were recovering. Tell the conversation we had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember that much of the conversation. The basic thing was we have a place to have the car show. Good. Uh, it is not being canceled. Uh, Bobby Deal at the Charlotte County Motor Speedway, Charlotte County Motor Sports Park right. stepped up and I called Bobby and I said, Bobby, I've got a problem. And he said, what's the problem? I told him, he said, what do you need? Couldn't ask for anybody to do any better job. Bobby's yeah. done a fantastic job uh, upgrading the raceway down there. Uh, he's offered it to me several years and we were getting such a fantastic deal from the fellow that owned this property, Bill Eikhoff, right. that, uh, and he stepped up when we needed him. So we were, we were keeping it there. He enjoyed having us down there, but this year it didn't work out. So this year we're moving to the Charlotte Motor Speedway, which is literally right up the road from where we've had it for the last three years. Now this will be our fourth, an fourth annual car show for the Punta Gorda Kiwanis Club. We've had tremendous response, thanks in a lot to you and other people around town that came out and put the word out to everybody that uh, we're having this car show. Everything that we take in for the car show is going back to the citizens and the, rep uh, and the people in the Charlotte County in and Charlotte area. County. area. That's um, we have 100% return. We have no administrative fees. None of us get paid for anything. Uh, we don't even pay you for anything. Well, well, a little bit, but not that much. Sorry, you didn't pay me for <laughs> yeah, anything. That's either, it. So I understand yeah. how that goes. Hey, hey, you got money right before the show. That's yeah, true. Well, that hey, work? Yeah, that's all that. Again, you see that? I got witnesses. I didn't do it. But yeah, anyway. I got a studio audience who can verify that. But as I was trying to say, we have some very good people working for us, <laughs> making money for the people of Charlotte County, yeah. and every penny that we take in turns around and goes back to Charlotte County. Yeah. Uh, none of the Kiwanians get anything. We don't have any administrative fees. Right. And we've had some tremendous assistance from the the Hot Rod and the uh, car collector mm -hmm. community. It's a great Hot group clubs. of people. Everybody chips in, helps out. They come out and have a lot of fun. We give yeah. away a lot of trophies. We've got some great raffle items this year. We've got a couple of new things this year. We've got a silent auction. Uh, Captain Louis Desquin of the uh, uh, Charlotte County Peach River Boat Tours gave okay. us a 20-person boat tour up Ooh. to the Navigator that we're going to auction off. And this is a $400 item. Mm -hmm. You might could get it as low as 
40 or 50 bucks. Very cool. But if you get together with a few of your friends, and I think you've got at least one or two friends that would be a couple to chip in with you, a couple. and all of you donate, say, 100 bucks to the Kiwanis Club or to, the, to buy this, you cool. could take 19 of your take best friends with you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be very cool. And it would be a lot of fun, plus it makes money for us. Yeah. We have the Charlotte County Blood Mobile, Blood, Blood Center Blood Mobile coming out. I want you goggles? to save. We're gonna, oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna save the beer goggles for you. As a matter See, of fact, I made I made sure that there was no <laughs> one around with camera. You, oh, you don't know. Well, this you, year we've got the, the Punta Gorda Chief of Police oh God. and oh. uh, a couple of other people that we're gonna have a little competition between you oh. and them. We might have it filmed and put on TV for you. Well, the thing was is that these people were putting the goggles on. They were staggering all over the place. I put them on and walked a straight, straight line, and I said. So what's the difference? The trouble was you it's tried like it out. Day. You tried it out as a practice line, and they said, "Wait a minute, you don't even have the beer goggles on yet, and you're having problems." <laughs> so, <laughs> those are I, I hey, there, is he? If you've never had those on, Bill, those are a, a trip. It's you. So you. So the minute you put these goggles on, you get, you're, you're wobbling. You, you feel like you're drunk. Yeah. So this, really is, this is a cheap way. I don't cheap have to buy high. a six pack anymore. Absolutely. No, no just six goggles on you. Cheap buy, high. Just put it on. The goggles. You put them on. This is great. You got a whole evening of fun. And then, right next to this, they have the rollover simulator. So you can see what happens when you, put the, when you don't put the beer goggles on, you take the six pack, you get in your car and you roll it over three or four times. They got a couple of, of crash dummies in there. One's named Lance and one named Sam, yeah. I think. <laughs> and they roll a sucker over and you see what happens if you don't have your seat belts on and all the other stuff. That's worth the price of admission. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I've had that feeling. Yes. In a golf cart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we have all these fun things. We've got the Punta Gorda Safe House from the fire department yeah, again. Fantastic. We're going to have the Charlotte County Sheriff's dogs out. We may have a helicopter. We're trying to figure out if we can get a helicopter in. Um, we're going to have Boy Scouts out doing Boy Scout stuff. Fantastic. Some great food. So got, all we're doing is we're taking the party moving it up Jones the Loop Road, move it up the street. We're going to do it. it at the Charlotte County Speedway. Yep. Bing, bang, boom, it's all done. We got a Are better you going to have people there, someone at the, the, the original property, just in case folks haven't gotten the word? We're going to have signs all over the place, and we're even going to have Good. a banner on the site. If you get to that site and you see the gate is closed, there's nobody there, and you haven't figured it out by that point, Right. Just for Lance, we're going to have a banner saying, go back up the road and turn right. right. Thank you. So, <laughs> it's in case I drive my DJ it. trailer. That was for Lance and Jones, the other no, cruiser. Yeah, that was the other guy. Yeah, yeah that was the other, the other crash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we're going to have all sorts of signs there. If you get to where we were last year, we will give you directions get to get you there. Get you to the right Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Not right. a problem. All right. We've got some footage. We've got, not footage, but we've got a uh, slideshow, slideshow of some okay. of the stuff that went on at Kiwanis. There we are. And this was this is that was the, the from the third annual right. The and we got we got that again this year, not the same one. Hey, there's the uh, Skanky. Skankmobile, and he won a trophy last year. <laughs> he and is he should. That is so should. That he is has, hot riding in the purest form. From here to California in that thing, and oh, had a ball. Man. Yeah, yeah. That was a beaut there, the old Merc. Yeah. Now I I don't remember names on these. I really didn't have time. Well, to we ran a clip on the next one. This I think is a Chevy. Is it a Chevy? Um, was that was a 50 Ah, Mr. Bruce this one. Olmstead. I believe yeah. that won the it's show the uh, Best of Show last year. I'm not sure. So That's all these nice guys better be coming back. Yeah, I'm hoping they're going to be back because we're going to have trophies all over again. Now, That's a Merc convertible, right? Isn't that a Merc or is that a Ford? Uh, I think that's a Ford. I think okay. that's a Ford. I got to get some new glasses. I'm working on them. Is Bill going to be able to bring some of his cars? Yes, Bill's going to bring oh, some good. of his stuff out too. Yeah, Bill. there's one of them. Oh there's no, one of no that's, 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 one of that's the one that raced that night on the track. That was the group, uh, Sam. That these guys were in yes. these antiques and they were yep. racing, they were that, racing night that night on at the track. track. Yep. Oh, the, the, now, now that's Bill's gyp gypsy. Sam. Um, I need that wagon. for yeah. a DJ booth. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't Ooh, that be, be a great DJ booth? DJ trailer? He'll sell it. Everything he's got's for sale. Yeah. Now this is this is a couple of his. These. Yeah, guys. that's his. That's a 1911 uh, international pickup truck. That is a yep. pickup truck. 1911 style. 1911 style. Exactly. Very 